Dogs, like people, have personality, and how we relate to them really affects their behavior. Once again, we have Chuck Stella from Elite K911 here to talk to us about relating to dogs. And Denise Shields, welcome to the show. You. you have your wonderful dog, Bryce, who is what kind of dog? Bearded Collie. Beaut Look at this dog, absolutely gorgeous. So what kind of behavior challenges were you having when you met Chuck, when Chuck came into your life? It'd probably be easier to tell you what I wasn't having, oh, but, but, really? but this was a dog that was all about himself. He didn't care about anything or anybody but himself. Um, would not do anything he was asked to do. Um, door management was a huge issue. Jumping on people, oh. wouldn't come when he was called. He wouldn't even look at you when you spoke his name. Oh my god. I mean, it, it, and I've had beardies since 83. This is the single beard, biggest challenge I've ever had. Wow, and so Chuck enters, and what, what did you do to help the situation? Uh, we just, we changed a little behavior. She, uh, she had had very easy beardies. She had dogs that were very focused on her, and she does have another one that's very focused on her. This was the first one that was not focused on her. So we had to teach her a few new tricks about becoming more of the pack leader and becoming more important to, to this dog. This dog, she was just a feeding you know, machine. She oh would feed him and care for him, but he didn't really have any respect because he was a little hard, harder than the other ones. This isn't Rosie. Bryce no. is not Rosie. I no. mean, you got to really know how to be a pack leader with Bryce. Yeah, this, mm. uh, these are, this is a one out of every 10 dogs or one out of every 20 dogs you'll get that type of behavior where they just don't need you. So did you go to Denise's house or Denise come to you? Uh, both, actually. We did a lot of work at home and we did a lot of work in the training center. Okay. Speaking of training center, you are Are you done with your expansion? Almost. We're we're siding. We the, we're getting our occupancy this week. Wow. Um, so we're we're almost we're almost there. And how many square feet? Uh, we're adding. Um, we added another couple thousand square feet to the to the. So center. what does that make total? Uh, we have uh, what that'd be about thirty five hundred, I think. Wow. So you can comfortably hold how many people and dogs? Do you think? Uh, we don't do more than five in a in a in a, in a group class. Oh, we still okay. do all our private stuff, but we do like five in a group class because we have to focus on the people. We don't want fifteen dogs in the class. Right. But the big thing is we opened our rehabilitation center. Okay. And so now people bring us our dogs that are that are red line dogs, dogs that have real aggression issues, whatever. We take them and we keep them for a week or ten days or whatever we need. And so they're there on site. 24 7 and so are we and the rehab center is part of the expansion correct or was that yes in, okay. it, it is yeah it's part of the expansion so okay. the downstairs was the training center now that's the rehab center i'm going to be coming to the opening oh yeah i really can't wait I expect to see you it. there thank you both for coming thank on you. the show thank you so and much and if you have a dog whatever kind of dog you have and you need help with it give chuck a call you can give him a call at 440-666-0749 or go to his website at elitek911.com stay tuned we have ask coach kathy coming up next Coming up, some bullies never grow up. They just get a new job. Frightening fellow employees. Kathy's calling a mandatory meeting to manage this matter. And next week, is it possible to forgive and forget? Our Relationship Roundup has responses you'll remember. Next week on Can You Relate with Kathy Dawson.